Are you looking for the best DIY 3D printer kits? In this video, we will look at some of the 6 best 3D print on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Creality Ender 3. The original Ender 3 is still one of the most popular 3D printer kits in the world, more than three years after it was originally released. The low price, great build area, and reliability have cemented the Ender 3 as one of the best 3D printer kits around. The reliability is a major selling point in such a cheap 3D printer kit. Whereas most DIY printers in this price range are plagued by issues caused by low quality parts, the Ender 3 is dependable and consistent, partly due to its upgraded extruder to prevent clogging or poor extrusion. The resume printing function is useful if you're prone to power cuts or want to print for several days straight and don't want to risk a huge ruined print, and the Ender 3 is fairly quick to assemble and shouldn't take more than an hour or so. However, it doesn't feature auto leveling, you'll need to install a BL Touch or similar kit for that. At Number 2. Creality Ender 3v2. Building on the success of the Ender 3 and improving and fixing its few flaws, the Ender 3v2, while the same size build volume, is a much enhanced DIY 3D printer. The upgraded motherboard makes the printer quieter than ever, and the extra power makes for a much more stable and precise printing experience. The upgraded extruder is also a great touch. It's easier to load and feed filament into via the rotary knob, ideal for PLA and flexible filaments. The large 4.3-inch screen makes the interface more intuitive, and the Ender 3 V2 is really easy to use overall. Another extra is the Carborundum Blast platform, which can heat up faster than ever and improves adhesion so you can be sure of a great first layer. Overall, if you have the extra $100 to spare, consider going for the Ender 3 V2 over the original. At Number 3. Creality Ender 5. Another Creality kit, the Ender 5 is another great 3D printer you can build at home. The Ender 5 is $100 more expensive, but boasts a number of improvements that make the extra money seem worth it. Firstly, it can print taller prints than the Ender 3 to 300 mm high rather than 250 important if you print tall structures like tall vases or monument 3D models. The structure is also stronger, having adopted a cube shape like the Tronxy X5 S8 which helps with stability, reducing vibrations or movements from external events, and improving part surface finish and quality. Moreover, the minimum layer height of 50 microns is extraordinary for such a cheap machine. Review after review repeats how crisp the surface finish of their prints look with the Ender 5, so it's fair to say the Ender 5 is a smash hit. At Number 4. Any Cubic Viper. A key feature on the Anycubic Viper missing from many printers in this price range is that the Viper self-levels. This is a huge relief for busy makers who would rather not re-level their printer every few prints, and who just want to get to the fun part, printing. The 16-point bed leveling process accounts for differences between the nozzle and bed and can be done in just one click. The 32-bit motherboard is beefed up compared to previous Anycubic 3D printer kits, offering silent printing and improved stability. We tested the Anycubic Viper and found it to be consistent in printing, easy to operate with the 4.3-inch touchscreen, and it was incredibly easy to assemble, we built it in 10 to 15 minutes. The new PEI spring steel magnetic print bed can be lifted off the platform easily for easy removal of your finished parts, and is designed to be scratch and heat resistant and to work well with standard filaments such as PLA, ABS, PTG, and TPU. The Viper also features an innovative new two-fan dual cooling system, cooling down parts quicker and enabling faster printing without causing errors, the Viper can comfortably print at 100 mm per second. At Number 5. Creality CR10 slash V3. The Creality CR10 has a passionate group of supporters who hail it as the best DIY 3D printer kit in its price range. Manufactured by Creality, the CR10 is a fantastic 3D printer build kit that can be built within 45 minutes. The Creality CR10 has an accuracy and print volume which is competitive with printers five times more expensive. With its minimum layer thickness of 0.05 mm and fantastic 300 by 300 by 400 mm build volume, the Creality CR10 is a great printer for just $370. 
It's easy to use, making it the perfect 3D printer for beginners. At number 6. Fulsun QQS. One of the best DIY Delta 3D printer machines out there, the Fulsun QQS features notable improvements on the original Fulsun QQ. It comes 90% assembled, so though technically still a 3D printer kit it will take under an hour to get up and running. We were lucky enough to test the FLSUNQQS, make sure to also check out our FLSUNQQS review. Not only does it have a fantastic build volume for the price especially the ability to print tall parts, but it also comes with an upgraded lattice glass print bed, allowing for faster heating up to 100C in under 5 minutes, less warping and better adhesion during 3D printing. This is perfect for materials such as ABS filament, which are known to warp significantly under the wrong conditions. Another advantage that beginners will enjoy is that as Delta 3D printers don't move the print bed, the print head does all the moving, the printer only needs to be auto-leveled once. It comes with a Titan extruder and can print with common printing materials like PLA and ABS, PVA, and hips for supports, as well as wood-filled filaments and flexible filaments. It's accurate, too, able to print at up to 50 microns. Overall, it's a fantastic Delta 3D printer kit that prints accurately, and super fast, it even made it into our fastest 3D printer ranking. It's also one of the easiest DIY 3D printers to build, coming almost fully assembled, you just need to attach the gears and rods to hold the structure up, and then attach the extruder and filament holder.